Warm greetings to my dear listeners. Today's episode of Psycho Curiosities takes us into the heart of an international conflict that has stirred strong emotions and divided opinions worldwide. We'll delve into the attack on a humanitarian convoy by Israel forces and its consequences, which have impacted not only international relations, but also touched the hearts and minds of people around the globe. As an observer and psychological analyst, I aim to contribute to this topic. This episode will be divided into three segments, the psychology of conflict, the dynamics of emotion in politics, and understanding and empathy in the face of tragedy. International conflicts, such as the one between Israel and Palestine, are often viewed throughout the lens of politics and strategy. Yet, at their core lie deeply human stories, emotions and traumas. The attack on the humanitarian convoy, which resulted in the loss of volunteers from various countries, including Poland, raises questions about the nature of conflict fear, helplessness and mourning. How can we understand and process such events? The psychology of conflict reveals that our responses are shaped by a multitude of factors, including our values, past experiences and personal beliefs about justice and safety. Indeed, one of the world's actions we can take is to constantly immerse ourselves in news updates, feeding our brain with adrenaline, excitement, fear, but on the flip side, this leads to a strong addiction, leaving in tension and consequently a wave of negative outcomes. Conflict is designed to engage and absorb as many individuals as possible, sometimes throughout media and sometimes directly. I want to support you with these words to not get carried away by emotions. The response of Poles to the statements of the Israel ambassador, perceived by many including the President of Poland, as not expressing adequate poor apologies and regret showcases how complex human emotion can be and how they can interpret differently by various people and groups. Politics, war, conflicts are often mixed with emotion and feelings but are not always open and visible for each perspective. What the camera shows is one thing, but what happens behind the scene is a completely different story. Certainly, words cannot compassionate for any loss of human life. This reminds us that in international conflicts, words have power, but it's the action that determines the possibilities of building lasting peace and reconciliation. Finding a common language of empathy and understanding in the face of tragedy is extremely difficult yet essential for collective action and building. As mentioned in the previous episode, we have a significant issue with empathy among young people because it's a multifactorial problem. In crisis situations like armed conflict, it is immersively, immensely required for joint action and building. To achieve this, we must strive to listen to diverse perspectives and experiences, engage in much dialogue and attempt to understand, even if they are difficult to accept. Empathy towards human suffering, regardless of nationality or beliefs, is key to pursuing justice and peace. What do you think? How can we work on developing these traits in ourselves and in our communities to better respond to conflicts and their consequences? Today's Psycho Curiosities episode has come to an end, but the conversation about international conflicts and their impact on human psychology is far from over. 
I encourage you to reflect on what you've heard and to seek ways to build bridges and understanding and empathy within your communities. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time.